Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 10th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun as Solar Dynamics Observatory is not updating since the 8th. I don't know what's going on here, but we did have an Earth-facing sunspot. Southern region coronal hole and another sunspot coming in. So it was getting pretty active. But now we haven't seen anything since the 8th. I don't know what's going on there. If anybody else has heard, please let me know in the comment section what's going on with Solar Dynamics Observatory. Because we did have an increase in wind speeds last night. Up to 646 kilometers per second. And we're steady now at 460. And things have definitely ramped up around the world. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Believe it or not, there are a lot of earthquakes for the last 24 hours here. So we're going to start out here looking at the 4.1 off the coast of Oregon yesterday. Watching a huge high pressure ridge over western parts of the, uh, North America. Things are really heating up. 5.1 here, the Atlantic Ridge. 4.4 here in Argentina. Pretty deep. Another one in Peru, 4.7. 5.4 here in the Tonga region. Shallow depth. And pretty sizable earthquakes here, 5.4, and as well a 4.6 Indonesia at 564 kilometer depth. Russia rocking a 5.4 in Stari, Russia. That was yesterday. 5.2 here in Tajikistan. And a 4.9 in Yeah, just north or what east of Turkey. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Definitely seeing an uptick in deep earthquakes around the world. Looking at the last seven days, all the elevated rings are deeper earthquakes. And there was a 5.3 yesterday, uh, Papua New Guinea, right beside the Uluwan volcano as that erupted again. Pretty sizable volcanic eruptions around the world right now. As well, things have really ramped up for weather. Lots of large low pressure systems spinning around our planet right now. Looking here at Tropical Storm Carosa and Lakima. Lakima is on land right now. Northeastern China, heading into Shanghai, and Carosa lost some energy and is now taking a different track. We also have two areas of interest to look at for storm, com storm coverage. Looking at two areas of interest here, off the coast of Mexico and Ecuador. One trying to move north, and the one on the left there trying to move west. We'll see what happens here the next couple days. And then, very sizable tropical storm Carosa. The new projected forecast here hitting South Japan as it heads, it could head northwest, I thought for sure. It was going to head northeast out into the ocean. But this is looking at this is looking at Carosa from NASA Worldview. And you see around the world there are large low pressure systems. Overlooking Russia, huge forest fires creating a thick smoky blanket across the whole continent here.
let's get to five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Overlooking North America, the cool down has begun. Large low pressure systems coming from the north and a sneaky one coming from the Midwestern United States. Going to bring a lot of rain to western parts of Alberta and British Columbia. And then some nasty thunderstorms as it heads east. Central Plains, United States, and Canada. Overlooking Pacific Ocean. Huge low pressure system here heading into the Aleutian Islands. Watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout parts of Alaska. Projected forecast here, Kurosa to South Japan as a category two, possibly a category four. It could pick up a lot of speed and energy over the next 48 hours. Also watching for another storm forming behind Kurosa in the coming week. Two areas of interest here. Doesn't show too much formation in the five day forecast here by Meteor Earth. Not much happening in the Atlantic Ocean either. Now something I wanted to point out throughout parts of Alberta, we've now received 22 tornadoes. We are on the way to breaking some records here in Alberta. Even Canada for that, for that matter. We've had tornadoes in every province except British Columbia. Overlooking Europe, the cool down trend is continuing over there as well. Monsoon rains still inundating Nepal and India here watching a large low pressure system trying to head west into Yemen. Hitting that really hot, dry air. Looking at the southern hemisphere, huge low pressure systems. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger. And this is why Morning Dew is here for you. This is why I've been broadcasting for two years on YouTube, trying to share my research, watching our world change drastically. very cool temperatures South Africa Southeastern Australia Argentina receiving record amounts of snowfall this year we're breaking records across the planet right now thanks everybody for watching this has been Mike with Morning Dew daily events worldwide I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Miss J for the birthday gift she sent me a piece of shungite which is supposed to protect me from electromagnetic frequencies. So again, thank you. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.